Good morning, Vera Buddies. This is the week of February 15th through February 21st. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Here's a joke for you. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because she was stuffed. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips for being a Barrow Buddy. This week in history. On February 16, 1923 in Thebes, Egypt, Howard Carter, an archeologist, enters the sealed tomb of King Tut and finds a perfectly preserved mummy. Celebrations for this week. February 15th, Hippo Day. February 16th, do a grouch your favor day. February 17th, World Human Spirit Day. February 18th, Pluto Day. February 19th, Chocolate Mint Day. Barrel Buddies are brave. This week we are focusing on the letter R. R stands for responsible. One way you can be responsible is by making sure you turn in your work. Hi students, our student book budget team has been working very hard to decide on new books for the library, but they need your help. We have sent a survey out to you, to your teachers through Class Dojo, if you are in our pre-K through second grade, and our third, fourth, and fifth graders, the survey is in your email. So if you have not answered our questions about what new books should be in the library, please do that today so we can set some goals and start adding some new books. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's updates. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. Happy Monday. We're ready for a great week at Barrow School ahead. And I have a few different announcements I want to share. One is that we're doing much better with attendance. So way to go, Barrow Buddies. We've had many, many more classes with perfect attendance last week. Um, so you are doing a great job trying to be responsible and getting up and getting on Zoom and getting all your materials ready to learn in your classes. So I want to give shout outs to these classes that had at least two days of perfect attendance last week, sometimes even more. Miss Clark's class in kindergarten, Miss Wiz's class in first grade, Miss Kaplan's class in kindergarten. In third grade, we had Miss Leggett's class. And in fifth grade, we had Miss Hinkle and Miss Olin's class. And then Ms. McCollum's fourth grade students also had two or more days of permanent attendance. So way to go, keep it up. We want everybody here working hard on their Zoom classes and learning everything they need to learn for their grade level. And you um, are important to help your class get perfect attendance. Make sure you're on time and ready for school every day. Next, this week coming up, we have parent teacher conferences. So your parents and teachers will be meeting to talk about your progress in school. So they're going to talk about reading and math and science and social studies and how you're doing in class with morning meeting and how you did on your iReady assessment that we just had. So those are going to be some conversations your parents are going to be having with your teachers to make sure everyone knows how you're doing in school this year. And this week is Random Acts of Kindness Week, which is one of my favorite weeks. Um, and Random Acts of Kindness Week is a special week where you can show kind of a surprise kindness to somebody just because, not because they did something for you or not in a way to thank them, but just for a random reason. Um, and there's scientific evidence that shows the positive effects of doing kind acts for other people and even receiving a kind act or witness, witnessing kindness. So the themes this week are to explore the good and make kindness the norm. So think about ways that you can show kindness to others in kind of just a random way. It could be people in your home, people in your class, your teachers. Um, think creatively about how to show a random act of kindness this week. And I hope that you receive a kindness from somebody too. It'll make you feel good this week. Those are my main announcements. We're gonna go on to birthdays. Happy birthday this week to Antonio Hudson, Nash Norris, Haley Scott, Mamiya Edwards, Corinthian Underwood, Katarina Hancock, and Milani Walton. And our teachers, Mr. Plemons and Ms. Pat in the cafeteria. Happy birthday. 
We have some shout outs um, that we want to share this week. Ms. Longo sends a shout out to all fifth grade students for showing what it means to be engaged learners. You showed up with a positive attitude, ready to learn and participated in making learning engaging for your fellow students and teachers. And on top of this, a special shout out to Ms. Selleck's class for working diligently last Wednesday when she was out. Her class received multiple dojo points for the day and an extra 20 minute break for doing their best to keep Bear the best school in CCSD. Team 119 has been so engaged. Ms. Seba is proud of her fourth grade family for pushing through as we learn some tough multiplication and division strategies. Our team wants to shout out Nash for making us laugh and always participating, Leah for participating even if her camera is off, and Tanaya for getting better with attendance and answering questions. Awesome job, buddies. Crew 122, I'd like to give a shout out to some crewmates for being bold. I like how the names are in bold print to Jade Knox for always showing her work and answering questions even when it's hard stuff. Antonio and Ronnie for starting to take a chance and share their ideas more when we're discussing things. And to Harris and Garrett for always keeping their camera on and for asking and answering questions in the chat. Thanks for being so bold, buddies. Ms. Freeman would like to give a shout out to Wyatt, Jaden, and Amari for being our MVP for class engagement. Way to be brave, Barrow buddies. everyone has a great week at Barrow Zoom School. Before we leave, let's all say our Barrow Honor Code together. As a Barrow buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy. Even if no one is looking, that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we can focus all of our attention on learning, on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. <laughs> 